How do I actually find winning products with Google Shopping ads? What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna break that title down for you and I'm gonna show you if you are struggling with Google Ads, Google Shopping specifically, and if you can't find any winning products, I wanna break it down for you in three simple steps. So stick with me and we're gonna do a deep dive. So these are three only things you need to do to hit 100K months with Google. Everything else is just noise, right? I promise you, if you just follow these key things, you will hit 100K months in revenue. The goal should always be to be higher than that. But again, I know a lot of people that start dropshipping or e-commerce in general, and they can't even get their first sale or they spend hundred bucks on ads and it puts them off. And that would put me off as well. Like spend hundred bucks on ads, not get a sale. There's obviously something wrong. So number one, you're gonna need enough search volume. Number two, you're gonna need, in my opinion, a $20 margin. Aim for higher, but if you can't, you know, don't bother selling something with low margin unless you have a long LTV where you want to lose money on the front end and, you know, acquire customers via Gmail to upsell them. Great. But again, I don't think that's the best play in my opinion. These are for bigger players. Your goal is to be profitable on the front end of your product and then everything else in the back end, you make profit in that as well. So number three, and this is the most important one, and this will get you suspended as well on Google Shopping and the Merchant Center, but people still want to do this lazy, lazy way. We had to stop doing this. All the stores you see me do back in day one when I did my 100K, 100K in 100 days challenge, you'll see on my homepage. We used to just copy stuff and steal stuff, right? I was very honest about it. And you know, some guys used to write that in my course, um, but we had to change. We had to make a new program. For, for those that you are aware, there's a, a link in the description. We had to completely make our program because this way doesn't work anymore. If you are interested in that, check out by the way. But even if you're not, stop copying and pasting stuff, guys. This will get you suspended. And even if you do get approved, it's not going to create something long term and it's not going to you know, create high six figure a month store. Again, we used to do this, but we've completely axed this way. And of course, suppliers are key. And we'll talk about this. We're going to break it down for you in a step by step way. So number one, dudes, search volume, right? It doesn't need to be that much simpler. We're not running Facebook ads. We're using Google search, e.g. Google shopping, but this comes from search volume. With Facebook, you can target you know, an audience and you can kind of create search volume and demand. With Google, there's only so many people typing in a product per month for a country, right? So you have to use the maths. And what did I mean by that? I want at least 30K minimum a month on my main keyword, right? You can get more, of course, with other keywords, but I want my main one to be at least 20 to 30K, right? Keep in mind, if it is a little bit less, let's just say I have five to 10K, you can add other countries. So for example, if it's 5K in UK, but maybe 15K in USA, it'll probably be more because USA have like 7X, you know, UK population. So it might be, you know, 30K. You can start adding up countries, but ideally I want my initial one in one country just to keep it lean, mean machine, because then I'll start to scale if that makes sense with our country. So let's get it to at least 30K, but 20K absolute rock bottom, in my opinion. If your product has 100 search volume a month, there's no money. Don't fall in love with the product, fall in love with the money. So many people get this wrong way around. Something in our course, you know, the other day was messaging me on Discord. And he's like, Jake, I've got a bunch of products, but should I sell something I'm passionate about? And I'm like, no dude, be passionate about making money. Um, you know, these are just stores that you want to get going. Um, and you just want to be passionate about making money, in my opinion. Stuff I'm selling, I'm not passionate about it. I'm passionate about 100K months, right? Just keep that in mind. You can sell something you're passionate about, but you know, you're gonna be unpassionate about stuff as well and you're just gonna close it on the store. It doesn't make much sense. Be passionate about the numbers, the analytics, the product development, the suppliers, the whole flywheel of e-commerce and dropshipping. I don't care about the product. If it ticks the boxes, I'll start selling it. So keep this in mind. So come in your keyword planner. I'm gonna go through an example. We're gonna talk about men's hair grow product. And that's the product I used to sell. And then we're gonna look at the main keyword. So if you haven't got a Google Ads account, set it up, it's free to do, here we go. UK and USA, average is 10K to 100K on the main keyword. You can use stuff like Minoxidil. We used to get a lot of sales on Minoxidil. That is the main formula. That has like a million um, monthly search volume. I think last time I checked in USA alone. So keep in mind, you have a bunch more, but our main keyword for this one is gonna be here, regrowth for men, 10K to 100K. It ticks the box. Can we move on? Yes. If, you ha if your product hasn't ticked this box, change product. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Next, $20 margin. There's no set in stone, but I like at least $20 margin. That's about 15 to 17 GBP, I think, basic maths. But ideally, I'm aiming for something higher, right? But this product had around that. And again, we were capturing people with LTV, meaning it was a repeat purchase. Every 30 days, you were blasted and we were making free money on the back end. So you could even lose money on the front end, but we weren't, we were profitable. But if you wanted to, and you wanted to be brutal, break even, make all the money in the back end. If an LTV of a customer is six to seven months, 
boom, good to go. But this will only happen if your product's good, it solves the problem, and it's a good fulfillment, right? Keep in mind. So what's important is CPC. This is very important. What's your conversion rate? This is also even more important because, again, you can come here with a lower margin, I guess, and make it work if your CPC is cheap and your conversion rate is high. If you do this wrong, there's no profit. So $20, and why I like that number, it gives us a nice margin to be profitable with shit ads and shit conversion rate. So if, even if you're doing the shit, you're still going to be profitable if you do it somewhat decent, right? If it works, right? So imagine if your store and ads were even half decent, let alone good, let alone great, let alone amazing. This is how you make profit, right? That's number two. Number one, number two. Tick those boxes before you move on to the step three. Step three is custom design. This is what I talked about. A lot of people are getting suspended and a lot of people um, are getting through the doors, but... If you're just copy and pasting images, even if you don't get suspended, chances are it's not going to be scalable to high numbers. Somebody can just come in and undercut you. Again, custom designs equals no suspensions. You can't sell generic copy and pasted solo items anymore. We see so many people getting suspended and it's just, you can't do it, right? And again, it's low level dropshipping, right? You can still dropship, of course, but make sure it's a custom design. Even if you go as far as white labeling, that's what I'm gonna give you an example that we did. So Upwork is gonna be your go-to. You can come in Upwork, you can get custom designs, 50 to 200 bucks is what I normally pay. And here's what I would expect, right? So here's examples of the product we ran. Here it is. Here's some other images. There was a lot more images, of course, and there was obviously custom, better custom images of actual. Well, here was like a, an image we didn't actually go with, but you know, because it was just too generic, this was like a, a stock photo. We actually got real, you know, real people, if that makes sense. Still with Photoshop, if that makes sense, but this is generic. You can find this man everywhere, right? It's just a generic one for health and beauty. But you can see here, all we've done is we've white labeled this. Here's the product, solves the same problem. We've got a $20 minimum margin. This product is about 19 pounds. Some people are selling it a 24, whatever. Remember, this is GBP, so give or take it, you can sell it up for $29.99, and you can sell it even more. It just depends on your perceived value. But again, this product on our supplier, we're not using AliExpress. This is the main point you want to get. You can't customize generic products and these are all generic. You're never going to do anything. AliExpress is finished. It's dead, in my opinion. You're not you're not getting anything custom, right? Especially with Google Ads and Facebook, even worse. Forget about it, right? So you can come in here on Alibaba, I always go by, by manufacturers, type in the main product that you're looking for and have a look. What can you get? We got this for one to two pound, if I remember correctly. If not three dollars, here you go. Here's the perfect example. You can get this. MOQ on this is one order. You can get this one order. It's not going to be though, because if you're doing a custom order, you're going to need about 500. So that will cost you 500 bucks or so, if not less, because this is in pounds. So just keep that in mind. Again, it is the exact same product as you can see here. All I've done is I found one supplier, it took me one second to do. There's the one that we're going to be selling. We've got a white label on it. Now we are a custom store. Now we can start selling this. Yes, it will take some upfront investment, but again, it is so much better to do this, dude. No suspensions, higher margins, cheaper goods, more scale. You're actually building a, a real long-term business. I'm not against drop shipping, but it's just, in my opinion, the old way has to die. Perfect example, bulk buy will do you best. Like I said, AliExpress, you can't go custom. Just don't even bother trying. Now what you can do, as we did, we'll buy this to our house, we'll get proof of concept, 300 to 500 units, and once we finish with that, we don't wanna be posting to the Royal Mail or UPS, whoever you guys are using in USA. After we get our initial proof of sales, etc., we'll start going to Hubo. You can go to, for example, Shipbobs in USA. These guys will connect with your Shopify, it filters everything together. You're now using them as your fulfillment company. They'll take a little bit of spread, of course, but now we can actually scale this, and this is what a 3PL is. Obviously, like I said, your Upwork is gonna be where you find your designer um, to find these images, right? Super, super simple. And that's literally all that you need to do. Don't overcomplicate it. Good luck.